So I study animals in the ocean and I'm interested in how they make a living, how they find their food while they try to avoid becoming someone else's dinner. And most of that work is done using acoustics, so I use sound to study where animals are and what they're doing and how they're moving and how that is affected by um, their habitat. I specialize in using different types of sonars to map animals and look at their behavior underwater where we can't possibly go. Sound is really the modality that animals use in the ocean to find their way, to communicate with each other, because it is a much more uh, efficient system. And so I was really interested in taking a lesson from them and trying to see what we could learn in the ocean uh, using sound. Most of my research uses active acoustics. In other words, we make the sound and we listen for it bouncing off of things and, and interpret that. But there weren't very many people trying to use it to study the ecology of the animals. So we've been developing new tools that allow us to look at animals in 3D over time so we can look at the behavior of, apps, of individuals and how is that related to what um, its predators and prey were doing. Food web is just all the different interconnections of predator and prey in any ecosystem. So who eats whom and how much of them they eat and how important that is to their diet. Uh, we're trying to unravel um, the behavioral components of the food web in the ocean and ultimately I'm really interested in how aggregations of food affect predators and their survival and how animals find those aggregations in order to be able to survive. To be able to see these animals beneath the surface, we needed to develop lots of new techniques and new tools and modify existing ones so we could get greater range and look at things deeper. And that has meant developing new types of sonar, new platforms to put it on. And I'm fortunate enough to come from a family where uh, people believed in doing it yourself. And my dad is a mechanic who can fix just about anything, so I learned a lot of really useful skills that it turns out are critical for being an oceanographer. Receiving the MacArthur Fellowship is actually pretty shocking. I, mean, I love what I do, and I'm always amazed that somebody pays me to do my job. I certainly don't think of it as a job. I think that the greatest thing is that it, um, there's so many things that I'd like to do in the future that funding agencies might consider too risky, uh, that they're really pushing the edges too much, and sometimes those are the things that lead to the best results. <laughs>